Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 4b of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 104 and the question is 14. This is the first question which is starred. And that means that it is an honours level question. So it reads, the maximum speed of an airplane is 200 km an hour. Find the maximum speed with which you can travel due north if there is a northeast wind blowing at 50 km an hour. So the first thing we need to do is draw our y-axis and our x-axis which make our xy or Cartesian plane. We then draw our wind. The wind is blowing from northeast, which means it's blowing to southwest. So VW like so. And because it's blowing from the we'll say the northeast, its angle against the x axis is 45 degrees. Next we're told the plane wants to go due north. So that means that if you were an independent observer, perhaps in space, looking down at the plane, you would see it move due north which means the it's VP because where the plane actually goes is VP. Now of course we need to work out the velocity of the plane relative to the wind. Where does the plane aim to in order to actually go north? Well of course it has to aim into the wind somewhere here. So this is going to be VPW. Now how do we know it's VPW and not VWP? Well the answer is this. If we look at VPW it equals VP minus VW. Now that means of course that the wind is in a frame of reference whereby it is stationary. Alright, now just as a matter of interest, what if the velocity of the wind was zero? Well if the velocity of the wind was zero then VPW would be equal to VP and where the plane headed would be where the plane actually went. So that makes perfect sense. However, because we actually have a wind, VP turns out to be um, VW plus VPW. Just I brought, her, I brought across the VW. So we see that where the plane actually goes is a combination or an addition of the other two vectors put together. Alright, so let's look at the information which, with which we are given. Uh, we are told that the maximum speed with which it can go is 200 kilometers an hour. So the magnitude of VPW is 200 kilometers an hour. And why isn't it VP? Well, obviously, if you want to, if you're starting out, you will head at your, up, you know, at your desired direction, at your maximum speed. The wind will take, in, it will, will say, take its toll, and you will end up going in whatever VP direction at whatever velocity. So v, the magnitude of VPW is equal to uh, is equal to 200. That's the first thing we know. Now the next thing we know is, if we just resolve the vector VW, we need the two vectors which add together to make the vector. Of course they need to be in these directions, and we get their at right angles, so we get VW sub Y is equal to negative VW sine of 45. It's a negative because it's going in the opposite direction to the unit vector, and VW sub X, this of course is a J hat, is equal to negative v sub w times the cos of 45 i hat. Now we should know at this stage that the cos and sine of 45 are 1 over root 2 each. Now let's just look at this. We know that the vw vector has an x and a y component. The vpw vector has an x and y component. However, the vp vector does not have a, an x component. So what that means is that the, v, the magnitude of, we'll say, VP to W sub X I hat is equal to VW sub X I hat. But, of course, they must be going in opposite directions because if you add minus 2 plus 2, you get 0. And that's what we want. So we add, we'll say, minus, we'll say, VW sub X I hat minus uh, VPW sub X I hat and has to give you zero I hat. So let's just find out. Let's just find out uh, what what uh, what we get if we do that. So if we look at VPW, now I'm going to draw this on a separate diagram down here. If I say there's my X Y plane and this is the vector VPW where the plane aims, and I call this angle here theta. If we resolve this vector into its component unit vectors. As normal, we're going to get this vector 
plus this vector at right angles and this is going to be VPW cos theta well negative of course oh, and this is going to be positive they're not in those directions at all and this is going to be uh, VPW sine of theta but what we've just found out is that VPW cos theta is equal and opposite to VW cos 45 alright so let's just do that so we get VPW times the cos of theta is equal to is equal to up here we had it's the magnitude of a course is equal to so it's VW times the cos of 45 alright because otherwise the I hat unit vectors wouldn't cancel out and that would mean that the wind, the actual direction of the plane, excuse me, would have an I hat component, which it can't. We know that this is equal to 200, so we have 50 over 200 times 1 over root 2 is equal to cos of theta. Alright, so let's find out what theta is. So we have 50 divided by 200, multiply, or divide that by root 2, and inverse cosine that get an angle of 79.8 degrees so I'm going to say theta is approximately 80 degrees like that so that's VPW so I'm going to note this here 80 degrees so let's just find out then what VPW sub X was going to be so get out my here so it's going to be 200 times the sine of 80 and that's equal to uh, just let me find out now. One hundred ninety-six point nine. So we'll say one hundred ninety-seven, and that's equal to that is equal to VPW um, J hat and VPW I hat is equal to two hundred times the cos of eighty. And that's equal to. 34.7, so say 35 I hat. So you know that VPW is equal to 35 I hat plus 197 J hat. How does that help us? Well, that helps us greatly. That helps us greatly. Because we know, we know what the vector VW is equal to. So VW is equal to so it's 50 times the cos of 45 i hat. So 50 divided by root 2. So we're going to get, let's say 35 i hat and 35 j hat. And of course they're both negative. Alright, now does that make sense? The answer is it does because if you look at this, these two here cancel out, giving a zero overall i hat unit vector velocity. So the next thing we need to do is finally, we say we knew that VPW is equal to VP minus VW. Alright, so we can just plug in what we know. So we have 35 I hat plus 197 J hat is equal to VP minus, minus 35 I hat minus 35 J hat. And thereafter, provided you've done your brackets correctly it's just a small bit of algebra and we're going to get a plus here so it's going to be plus 35 i hat and it's going to cancel with the plus 35 i hat there and this is going to be a plus 35 i hat so we're going to have 197 minus 35 j hat is equal to vp vp is equal to 197 minus 35 so that's what 162 kilometers Per hour. So let's just check that at the back of the book. I think that's pretty correct. So it's 4B question 14. Yeah, and it says it says 161.5, but you have to remember as well that we we're, we've done some good rounding off. So that is correct. So just remember again, of course, if your the actual ve the vector or the actual direction of your plane has no x component, well then the the x components of VW and VPW must be equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. So that was pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching. Please pass it down to your friends and subscribe to my channel.